guys and welcome back to another episode of this Chelsea FIFA 21 career mode where today we are going to see some trophy listing. Lifting? Listing? Lifting. I'll get it right in a minute. Lifting. Because today brings the end of the 38 game battle that we do with 19 other teams in the Premier League and we're coming out well and truly on top. I'm going to show you the league table here. So unless Liverpool win like 15 nil and we lose 12 nil or something like that, we are the champions. And who are we playing on the final day? Watford at home. I'm in the way. Let me just slide across your screen. Watford are there. Hello. Hello. We're playing them. So we're going to lift that Premier League trophy. So I thought I'd put the, the Blues clobber on today. And then, of course, after that Watford game, um, when we've clutched the Premier League title out of the grasp of the red rivals from Merseyside, we are going to be taking on Aston Villa in the FA Cup final to complete a possible treble today. Right then, for one final time this season, we are at Stamford Bridge. The Flamethrowers are going off as we welcome the Premier League's bottom club to, to the Bridge. to the home of the Premier League champions. I am going to say it. It's not mathematically done yet, but we, we know it's done, don't we? Watford taking on Chelsea here at the bridge. We've got the Drogba Tifo up behind the goal in the Matthew Harding stand. And how fitting is that? What a legend. What a season. Unbelievable stuff. Unbelievable stuff. Just one win separating ourselves and Liverpool. That's it. 38 games. To be fair, they've managed to keep, even though we're taking their title, they've managed to keep pace with us all the way until the final day. That's the team that I've gone with. I wanted to keep it pretty much the team that has won us the title. I was going to put some of the youngsters in here today, but you know, when it comes to the end and it's the trophy presentation, you want the guys that have put in the graph to be there with their kit on. Aspie wearing the armband. Thiago Silva coming back in. Mason Mount's in there. The only player that, yeah, that, that we have swapped around is Ziyech because I actually want to protect him. He's the one I want to protect the most for the FA Cup final. He seems to come good in those big games. So he's rested. Watford lining up with a 4-4-1-1. It's no wonder it come bottom. Look at it. Go on, Timo. Go on, Timo. Go on, Timo. You need four goals today to hit that magic 40 mark and you're not going to get them with shooting like that. It's quite worrying though for Watford. I literally just ran in a straight line with Timo and got myself through on goal. That easily. That easily. I don't know what they're up to at the back there. I don't know what they've been up to for the last 37 games either. Oh, keeper looks dodgy as hell. Oh, no. oh go on. Oh, Volley Mers Traore. Oh, he's hit it. He's hit it really well. And that was going in, to be fair. It has hit the arm of Sinclair. That was definitely heading into the back of the net. It's a great strike. Have a little look. Look at him just watching the ball like, oh, uh, oh. Uh. And yeah, that, if that doesn't hit his hand, that's en route to goal. So you have to give the pen. Yeah, let us just be sure of it. There's the volley. Timo Ducks. Oh, it might have been going wide, actually. Might have been curving away at the last minute. Nah, that's heading in. Right, okay. When we're playing, I'm so used to playing online that I always miss the penalties. Because I try and be a bit too clever. Let's just pop this up the top there, Timo. Better, right? Now you can all shut up by saying that I can't take pens. I can. I can do it. Timo, goal number 37. Right into the side netting. Whip. That is a brilliant pen. Imagine if he gets a hat-trick today and finishes on 39. Whilst that is an incredible achievement, it would also be slightly heartbreaking, I think. And this Watford side, honestly, unbelievably terrible. This is, look, we're just knocking the ball around for fun. There's no real pressure. I know they've come bottom and they're already relegated, but it's no real surprise that they are where they are. Plays it forward to uh, Andre Graves up there by himself. May Lassar, probably their brightest talent. Well, he's definitely their brightest talent, I think. Very pacey. Good player, and that is a hell of a run. He's got in behind, but the flag goes up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Counter-attack's on. Counter-attack's on here. We're getting a bit complacent. Saar taking on Delict. If he puts the ball across. Oh, my God. Offside again. No, he's not offside this time. And he's scored for Watford. Okay. Game on. It's 1-1 here at the bridge. And we were saying he's definitely the brightest talent in that Watford team. And he's just showed exactly why and what he's capable of there. Turned inside. Will Hughes gave it back to him. Definitely offside. What on earth is going on there? Right, so the moment the ball is played is there. Right, let's take it back a couple of frames. There. He is offside. His head is offside. I'm telling you now. Look at it. Offside. He's onside. He is onside. 
sad. Mason Mount into Timo. On to Kai. Play at the right time. Christian could have an opportunity here. Come on, Christian. In the box. Plays it off. Ben Chilwell joins the attack. Fire it across goal. Ben Chilwell. Ben Chilwell. He doesn't score many, but he's grabbed one today. I was hitting that across goal in the hope that one, it either went directly in. That was perfect. The keeper parries it to the man at the back stick, who was Kai Havertz waiting in space. Or it just found its way to Havertz. But he's done the option A, plan A, perfectly. Look at that. Just drills it. On target. Keeper. Keeper is terrible, to be fair. Half time whistle goes. Um, not as comfortable as I thought it was going to be after the first 15 minutes. But still pretty comfortable. As it stands, Liverpool are actually being held anyway by Brentford. Imagine if they, imagine if we lost this and they had the superior goal difference, but then they bottled it to Brentford. That would just be the funniest thing. Oh, that is the best pass of the game so far. Cross comes in, Thiago Silva heads the ball away. And I asked all of you guys for your FA Cup starting 11s. And the amount of people that put Thiago Silva in the lineup was very pleasing to me. It was like a little proud moment. I have it. Oh, volley Mers. Whack. Ooh. Watford are in here. Jerome Sinclair. Taking on Delict. Oh, it's a great ball. Andre Gray. Yeah, Donnarumma. Says no chance. Not today. Not for the second time today, I should say. Oh, look at that pass. Traore. Skin him. Oh, no. We always try that bridge skill move. Sometimes it comes off perfectly. You've got to do it just as the defender is committing. If you do that, you'll knock it one way, run the other. Obviously with quick players as well. But yeah, today it hasn't really come off too much. But good signing he's been, Adama Traore, for sure. A lot of important moments in this save come from his pace. I think of many last gasp winners, late equalisers that he's scored. Just coming off fresh from the bench with the defence tiring. They can't handle him. Good in, Thiago Silva. Get into him, Thiago. One man mission. Go on, do him. Yes, Thiago. And again. Go on, son. Unlucky. <laughs> Tried too much. Sarah's in again. Good save from Donnarumma to keep Watford at bay. He's having a great game. Just making a one change. Mason Mount coming off. Hakim Ziyech coming into this. I want him on the field. I want him on the field. Go on, boy. Have a run out on the final day. Go on, Christian. All the way, son. They're not going to catch it. It's Tom Cleverley. See ya. Feel the need to apologise. That goal has just mugged off Watford big time. Christian Pulisic, man. Save the best till last on the final day. The pace here. This ball roll. Where are you going, mate? See ya. Get off me. And then in off the underside of the crossbar. Pretty sure that clips the crossbar on the way in. Or the post. No, nope, nothing. Just straight in. Christian, you the man. Watford on the front foot. Ball is played inside. Shot is blocked by Delict. Laid off to Will Hughes. They're through. He's offside. Didn't look it. Cleverly scored. Where was the offside in this move? Does it go through to that man? If it does, he is off. Yeah, he is off. Very all right. Into Hakim Ziyech. Could slip it through to Timo, but Ziek hungry for more. N'Golo. Top bins. Oh, yes, please. It's four. It's four. Get the ball. Kiss it. Do what you want with it. That is why we're champions. Called it as well. He scored a number of bangers. He doesn't score bad goals, does he? Right, and we are just minutes away from the final whistle now where the trophy will be handed to us. The Premier League trophy. As soon as that final whistle goes, guys, I'm going to shut up and just let you enjoy these title celebrations in full there it is we are champions and that's what it means to the crowd just sit down just sit down is there going to be no trophy parade or is it just that they expected what's going on that's the final league game lads celebrate I mean, any danger of a trophy presentation? I was waiting for that all game. And we didn't get one. Got 184 mil, but I want to see the lads lift the trophy, man. FIFA. EA. 
Seriously. Give me the trophy then. I've got 100 points. Just you got relegators. Brentford, Stoke and Watford. Poor old Brentford had Liverpool on the final day. Liverpool did turn that around and win that game. So Brentford, Stoke and Watford have gone down. The teams that come up have gone back down. Jack Grealish, desperate to play against his former club. It's going to see how I think about it. But yeah, don't come demanding to start in a game such as an FA Cup final, Jack. Now we know there'll be a trophy presentation after this game because it's a cup final. But what we don't know is whether we're going to be able to win the thing. We've put out a very, 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 very strong team. No messing around for these finals. Back at the iconic Wembley Stadium, which has been a happy ground for us in this career mode. We won the Carabao Cup here. We obviously won the FA Cup semi-final here. This is big. This is big. There's the trophy that we're playing for. There's the official match ball. Come on, the boys. FA Cup final time. The most prestigious domestic cup competition in world football. There's how the teams got here. We did it the hard way, beating Man City in the semis. Villa had Middlesbrough, Rotherham. I mean... There's your starting 11. 4 2 3 1. Could have played the same team that annihilated Villa in the Premier League. Jack Grealish didn't start, even after coming to us. As with the captain's armband, it's Mount that the spotlight is on. Good game here. Solidifies his place in the Champions League final, playing this formation. If he has a bad game, we might revert to the 4 3 3, which is what I think the majority of you in the comments want to play in that Champions League final anyway, from what I can gather. 4 3 3 for Villa. That's what they've gone with. Oli Watkins, Bertrand, Traore and Vasiev up front. Sadar scored against us in the last game. They've got Alcaraz and John McGinn in there as well. But Diop, if you could score another own goal, son, that would be fab. Right then, FA Cup final. Full playthrough is underway. Last game in England in this second season here. Go on, Timo. Go on, Timo. All the way, Timo. Oh, that was close. That was close. Probably could have taken that even closer and got a better effort away there. We're just warming up. Two minutes in. First chance for the Blues. It's Timo Werner, man. Without him, I don't think we'd be anywhere near as good. Remember when we played Jovic up top? Like, good, decent, top-level striker. But for us, we didn't look anywhere near as dangerous. We were relying solely on the wingers when he played for the pace to get in behind up front. Oh, God. Villa have got in behind here. Could be a nightmare start. Delict, good tackle. But yeah, we were relying solely on the pace of the wingers. Whereas now, we've got pace everywhere. Kai Havertz makes a run. Touch. Drive it low. Finish it, Kai. Kai! Seven minutes in at Wembley here. Kai Havertz gives us the lead. Hakim Ziyech with the assist. Comes up trumps again in the big game, guys. Hakim Ziyech. You can see us all on the big screens there celebrating. Chelsea fans go mental. They want to see a trophy lift. Good ball from the right foot of Ziyech. And we know, more often than not, Kai will finish. Here comes Traore, though. So what I was doing there, defensively. Holly Watkins, that's a sharp turn. Chilwell with a foot in. Right, let's move. Counter-attack. This is how quickly we moved... That was not where that was intended to go. Well, Villa look up for this. It should be. Cup final. McGinn looking through to Oli Watkins. Good block from De Ligt. Chances for Villa to get level there. 13 mins in. De Ligt win that. Oh, Golo brings it down in the box. That's some composure for you. And then this is where that Villa defence gets stretched. The only downside to not playing Traore is the lack of pace out here. But Ziyech might fancy something else. Ball drops loose. Christian. Timo. Oh, my word. Tried to finesse it into that far corner. Blue in now, lads. But we know there's been a golfing class this season between ourselves and the Premier League team. We know. Every time we've been in the Champions League game, though, it's been, you know, when we've got a decent opposition. No disrespect to, you know, Lazio or who else did we play? Was it Villarreal? I can't even remember this season. No disrespect to those guys. We're better than them. Donnarumma with a save. Donnarumma with the save. Double save. Big chances for Villa to get level. Chance at both ends of the field. Go on, Hakim. Go on, Hakim. 
Still got it. Hakim Ziyech. Could have played it through. Could have taken it closer. Yeah, I'll go. Love it. Absolutely love it. Here's Mount. Stitch up. Absolute stitch up. And Golo, just stay behind the ball, lad. Just stay behind the ball. Get in position. That's it. It's a good ball. They've run off the back of Delict. Donnarumma again. Called into action. Villa on top here. It's the third big save that we've had to uh, call upon our goalkeeper for. Deflecting. Oh, I don't like this one bit. I don't like this one bit. Going to bring Donnarumma slightly off his line. In case he wants to come and claim this. That's too far away for the keeper to come. Ball drops down. Delict. Timo. Just get rid. I'm just trying to help the ball on. Still Villa have got us penned in. Aspi does enough. That's a goal kick. Aspi done enough. Just got a vital foot in there. In the box. That was some crazy times. Hasn't done enough there though. Oh my god. We're playing terribly here. 64% possession. For Aston Villa at the moment. Delict just about intercepts that. Ollie Watkins was trying a clever pass. That was supposed to be a pass to feet, Christian. Well, don't let the occasion get to us now, boys. This would complete the treble, the domestic treble. Premier League, Carabao Cup and FA Cup. But we've got a lot of work to do to get it done. Is Villa actually terrorising terrorizing our defence here? What a block. Delict. What a block. Now we've got some breathing room. Hakim Ziyech. Being chased by Alcaraz. What's going on here, Hakim? Want it on your left foot. I understand that. Going to lay it off. Mason Mount. Going to lay it off one more. Angolo. Finesse. Very nearly. Very nearly. We've seen, like I said in the last game, he only scores bangers. He only scores bangers. Right, let's slow the game down a bit. A bit too fast for my liking. Too much pace. Villa are actually hitting us on the break really well. That was a risky ball to play, but Kilwell is there. Just keep possession a little bit. Timo. Hi. Back to Timo. Looking to sidestep the defender. Not happening. Not happening. Thiago, you need to win that. Mason, you need to put pressure on here. Lads, lads, lads. Villa pump it th forward. Traore is going to win that race with Ben Chilwell, I think. Yeah, he is. Chua, though, perfectly times the tackle. Good defending. Right on the stroke of half-time. Do not concede now. We can get in one goal up and regroup. Be confident that we can go on and win this thing. Here is Kai. Timo's gone. Timo Werner, tight angle. Timo Werner drills one. Martinez with the save, and it just, just trickles wide. Corner. This will be the last chance of the half. We can double our lead. That would be banging. Delict goes up. Keeper does well. Villa are going to clear their lines here. Or are they? Yes, they are. Good challenge from Thiago Silva, who took about three weeks to get up from that. But half-time at Wembley. Chelsea won, Villa nil. We got the goal early, but Villa have been the better side. Look at that. Very, very, very even contest. Very even contest. See what the second half brings. No changes for us. Hopefully it brings success. Ha-ha. <laughs> Counting down those minutes. Should we keep the ball? 45 minutes. See if we can win it that way. I'll tell you what, Hakim Ziyech has been left. Been left alone. Could stand the ball up here. Christian Pulisic coming in. We haven't got height in the box, have we? If that was Tammy, crossing the ball in there, might have been the, might have been the play. But it wasn't Tammy. He's on the bench, though. I might get him some uh, game minutes here in this, uh, this game. Ref! It's Timo, honestly been on fire all season but this doesn't look like it's going to be his day today nothing's really come off for him Thiago win that what a boss what an absolute boss and there it is guys can you just not remind us of the Champions League final when I'm trying to win the FA Cup Kai Havertz Kai Havertz his second he's the big game player there it is we'll bust it out one more time for the boys here at Wembley his left foot today We've had a number of shots from distance which haven't come off, but sometimes they do. And that is a real sucker punch at the start of this second half for Villa. Mason Mount into N'Golo, into Havertz. One touch, two touch to set himself. And he's just bent it in. Big foot, or big hand, I should say. 
on the trophy. Lifts the trophy with their feet. What am I even talking about? I was going to say Bigfoot in the next round, but there is no next round. This is it. Up the Wembley steps to grab that trophy. And that might just have knocked the stuffing out of Villa as we come forward again. Timo. N'Golo. N'Golo. Looking for Timo again. Oh, that was too cute. Too cute. Too much. Go on, lads. Go on, Timo. You're in. Been really well marshalled by those defenders, isn't he? It's like they know all about his dangers. How can you not? 37 Premier League goals. That was supposed to go to Chilwell, believe it or not. Offside. Nope. Has to be getting back. B, now we're offside. Right, Tammy. Where are you, mate? Get yourself warmed up. Tammy for Timo. Last thing I need is a Werner injury before this Champions League final. Kind of want to take N'Golo off as well, but the game's not done yet. I'm not in a not in a position of safety where I feel like... Is that Hulk? Has Hulk just come on for Aston Villa? Yes, he has. That's mental, by the way. N'Golo, oh my god, Delict. N'Golo sold him short there, or actually overhit the pass. But Delict has had a great game. Here's Kai, who's on a hat trick now. Good footwork and strength. Finds Mason Mount, drive it. Win it back, Mason. Yes, lad. Confidence is flowing. Keep it, lads. Uh. What? Win that. N'Golo. Yes. Kai. Oh, Tammy with the... Everything about that goal was disgusting. Everything about it. The pass from Tammy. The finish from Kai. Not only does that complete his hat-trick, but that absolutely humi humiliated that Villa defence here. Look. Watch this from Tammy. Insane, and then to chip it with that precision over Martinez like that is mad on your weak foot at full stretch. He doesn't even look, he doesn't even look, he's off celebrating already. Poor old Dean Smith. But we did say when we saw that it could possibly be Villa or Middlesbrough in the final that we expected to go on and win the trophy. Said whoever beat City was going to win it. And that's proven to be the case. It's been hard though. That first half, we could easily have gone in behind at half time, let alone 1 0 in front. But the second half, we've showed our, our class and our quality has shone through. And I hope for a similar level. Bertrand Traore is just skimming me up. Hope for a similar level performance throughout the Champions League final. But we're going to have to be on the top of our game for 90 minutes. Those Champions League games have been tough. Really tough. Not where I intended to play that. Could take N'Golo off now. I don't think I need to. 12 minutes to go. Go on, Tammy. Ugh, unlucky. Tried to nick it. Here come Villa. That's a great ball, but the offside flag should go up. No? Yep. 10 minutes to go. Villa making changes. Yeah, I am going to take N'Golo off. Gonna take off Angolo and gonna take off Havertz. Havertz for the uh, Havertz for Zuma for the standing evasion and Kamavinga on for Kante. Kai Havertz with his hat trick. Kante to prevent injury. I'm gonna just see Wembley on its feet for these two. No, they've sprinted off. They've sprinted off. Go on, Jack. Joins us from Villa and now he's beating his old employers in the final. Special, special day for him, even though he didn't start. He's probably going to be angry with me. But hey, Jack, you're a newcomer. You've got to work your way in for this squad. This very successful squad. We're going to do the treble, guys. Can you believe that? Go 
Oh, he's done me. Yes, Camavinga. Didn't look offside to me. Didn't look offside to me. Chelsea fans singing us home. Got calmness to it now, this game. It's got a nice calmness. Good skill from Ziyech. Aspi. Finish this off, Grealish. That would have been insane. Grealish against his former club as well. Can we get something from this corner? Not with a delivery like that, we can't. Villa on the counter. Villa on the counter. Oh, lovely turn. Ball is knocked forward here. Oh, showing off now. 3-0 down. But guys, we are going to be... Good shot. Great shot. As soon as I kick this, the full-time whistle is going to go. FA Cup winners. And we are going to see a celebration. And I am going to shut up. We've won the treble, guys. I'm going to disappear. Enjoy these trophy celebrations as much as Ben Chilwell is enjoying these trophy celebrations. We deserve it. We deserve it. Now that is a picture, isn't it? That is a picture. Well done, boys. Carabao Cup winners. Premier League winners. FA Cup winners. Champions League winners. Right, guys. And that's where I'm going to end this episode. On a high. Jack Grealish will deal with you in the next episode, Sunshine, where we have the Champions League final. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already to make sure you don't miss it. Drop a like as well. If you're hyped about this episode, look at it. There it is. The beautiful trophy. Sat there with Kai Havertz in his little suit. But yes, guys, 99 managerial rating. It's what we do. See you next time.